try this again. I think I got my uh, microphone working. So, <clears throat> as I was saying before, I, well, I was trying to say before, I've had a bit of a epiphany, if you will, self-revelation. I was lying in bed reading, getting ready to take a nap the other day, and I just kind of was, just kind of was sitting there and thinking, not really reading, and it just kind of hit me. My life, my life is complete crap. <laughs> I'm sick of sitting around. Um, I've been trying to get a job, and many of you know that our U.S. economy is crap, um, especially in Michigan. It's, I believe it's at an all-time high for unemployment, and it's not that I'm not trying to find a job, it's just that there's nothing out there. So, I have come to the conclusion, and I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't graduate high school. I was picked on and bullied and I didn't want to take the crap so I dropped out. I went to an alternative high school but then I just never went. I just never, I never went. I got lazy. Um, <coughs> and now um, I have every intention, no, I will. Trying to, trying to be very positive these days. I am going to go and get my GED in August. And hopefully I'll pass it. I'm really, really praying because I am really bad at math. I had learning disabilities growing up and my teachers never sat down to explain it. And the way my brain is wired, I just, I don't get math. I just. I just, I don't get it. So, um, I think I'll be good on all the other, for, like, for all the other, uh, sections, I think there's, like, five other sections. I'm just really worried about the math part. Let's see, what else? Ah, after GED them. Um, <laughs> yes, I make up my own words. Leave me alone. I, uh, for a long time I wanted to go to school uh, to become a CSI or CSA depending on your region and what they call themselves, a uh, crime scene analyst. Uh, especially after uh, CSI, um, the television show came out, I thought yeah, it, is, it's really, it would be really cool to do something like that. Um, blood and gore don't bother me. And I just I just thought it'd be a really and I love science. I'm I'm the first one to tell you. I'm a nerd. I yeah, I really I'm 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 a geeky nerd to the fullest. I love learning. I just hate going to school. So um so yeah, that's what I do. I, I go to the library and I get <laughs> I get documentaries. And I've been told I'm weird weird for it. But hey, what can I say? I like to learn. I just don't like the whole classroom setting. Um anyways, after I get the GED, I'm planning and hoping that I have a job before I get my GED, because between now and August, that's a long time to wait and to uh, try and get a job. Uh, so I have decided. I, I'm all right. The reason why I decided against the whole CSI thing is I am a homebody. I'm a mama's girl. I am. I get homesick really easily. Kind of sad, really. But I...
I don't know. It, where I live, I live, I live, I don't live next to a huge, like, as far as, like, Detroit's concerned. I, I live near Flint, Michigan, okay? And, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a city, it's a big city, it's not our biggest city, um, it's not Detroit by any means, but, I mean, it's, it's a fairly decent sized city, but, because I am a homebody, and I have a hard time going too far away from my family in general, um, I just, I like to be close, I will not become a CSI, because, my entire, well, just about my entire family's in Michigan, um, and the only, Flint has nothing as far as CS, like, as far as job, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, job advancement would be concerned in CSI. It would be pretty much nothing but gangs and break-ins. Call me a glutton for punishment. I want some grisly murders. <laughs> I know that's terrible, but I would not want to investigate nothing but gang-related crime. I just... I can't stand that aspect of life in general. It's gangs, I just... I don't... I don't get it. But, yeah. And that's pretty much what Flint would be. And if I even were to go down to Detroit, yes, lots of gangs down there. Um, so, kind of brush the whole CSI thing under the carpet. As much as I would love to, there's just, the way I am, I don't see job advance, or career advancement anywhere in that field for me. So, I kind of looked around and I have come to the conclusion that I am going to go to a local hospital. I gotta save six hundred dollars and I'm going to go for my EMT basics course. I'm gonna be an EMT. So and then depending on how the whole schooling for that goes. I will try and go for paramedic, and then after that, how that goes, I would, and th this is like a complete 360 from paramedic, EMT, anything like that, but I'd eventually like to get into pediatrics and oncology. <laughs> so. Uh, for any of you who don't know what um, pediatric oncology is, it's uh, children with cancer. So, um, I'd like to work in that field, if possible. I'd like to get to that field. Um, I'd like to work down at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Yes, it's the hospital that you see the infomercials on for the children with cancer and other terminal illnesses. It's a wonderful hospital. It really is. They have people, like children who have, whose families have no money, can go down to St. Jude's and they get free treatment. I mean, how awesome is that? As far as I'm concerned, I think medical uh, help should be like that. I think we should help each other. You know, but. St. Jude's is an awesome hospital, and I would be honored to work there. So, I'm at 10 minutes and 35 seconds, and I'm probably going to have to redo this because it's probably going to be too big. Maybe I can compress it. So, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll keep you guys updated. Bye.